All right, welcome into Market Day Report. I'm Scott Schultz, otherwise known as the Cow Guy. Thank you very much for being with us here today on uh, Quarterly Stocks Day, right? Lots going on. Let's get right to it and see what's going uh, your way or not going your way. But corn's higher, but not very, not as much as we were. Look, 685 is last in D, so it's up 15 and a half cents. But we had been up over a dime more, about 11 and a quarter cents more than we are right now. So we've uh, kind of given away a little bit, but we're still double digits better. We'll take it, 15 and a quarter cents higher. 684 and three quarters is last. March is also up about 15 cents to 691. So strong board. We had less than we thought we had when it came to corn, but we have more beans than we thought. So this is no bueno. Nova is down 24 cents to 13.86 and three quarters with that $14 handle well in the rear view right now. 23 cents lower in Jan to 13.97 and a half. How about the wheat market? The wheat in Chicago is higher, 35 and a quarter cents higher, 9.31 and a half in Dees, 9.41 and a half in March. That's up 33 and a half cents. So really good uh, bids across the board when it comes to Chicago wheat. I can tell you before we got the number, Chicago wheat was up about 18 and a half cents. So we basically tacked on another 18 cents, well, not quite, 16 cents. So uh, that was good for a 16 cent bump in the wheat market, having taken a look at that number from the government, the USDA. Hard red wheat in Kansas City, 31 cents iron dees, 9.97 and three quarters is last. Make it a run for that $10 one. Look at that, we just uh, just failed to tick under it, 9.99 and three quarters. Uh, before the number, uh, just to give you some reference, um, we had that, that market was up 15 and three quarters cents, so we've doubled it, right? That's exactly what's happened. 28 and a quarter cents iron March, 993 and three quarters is last. Let's take a look at spring wheat. Spring wheat in Minneapolis, 22 and a quarter cents higher, 988 and a quarter. That's 22 and a quarter cents higher. I'm talking way too fast. 988 and a quarter higher in that D's contract. And before the number, we were only up eight cents, so we've added on another 14, 15 cents when it comes to the spring wheat. In Minneapolis. And finally, let's take a quick peek at cotton. What's that doing? It's just, it can't get a bid here. 120 points lower, D's to 83.96, only 36 points from the low. Let's bring in our next guest analyst. It's Todd Horowitz with Bubba Trading. Todd is in, no, you're in Las Vegas, I think, right? Oh, there he is. He's got, with all the expensive art, the Rodan on the wall. Um, right, exactly. <laughs> Todd, uh, the, you, you know, we've seen the, the market movement from the report. Um, what are your thoughts here going forward? Or is this something you think is going to stick? I, I, I think we're going a lot higher, and I think that includes soybeans as well. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think the big picture has changed. And one thing I know about USDA reports and government reports, they're often inaccurate to the real picture. And because of the way that they're calculated, and, and I don't, I, I don't see any major changes that should make me change my overall opinion. We're getting some some price movement back and forth. It's like every week we have a couple of big days one way, a couple of big days the other, and at the end they end up higher for the week. And, and I don't see that's going to change. And, and I do think that we're going to go significantly higher. I mean, the economy hasn't changed, the shortage hasn't changed. The situation hasn't changed. So I think that overall that we're set up for, for probably a, a real shot at a big market. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it's going to be interesting playing into everything else, you know, geopolitically. I think when we get, uh, I'm going to talk about it on my show, but man, it's just with everything still going up in price with the economy sliding lower, you know, we're, we're just a few, you know, jobs away from all of a sudden being in the middle of stagflation, Todd. I think that's where we're going. I mean, I, you know, we talked about this a, a quite a while ago, and I think that that was kind of the setup. This, this is this is when we don't do what we're supposed to be doing and take care of and using our own natural resources and and building and and making not only the United States better but the global situation better. And we really see a lot of damage, you know, throughout the the globe with natural gas with crude oil because we, the wrong people are in charge of the crude oil and the natural gas. And if we were in charge like we were, I think we would solve a lot of the problems that are, that are happening globally, not just here in the United States. All right, hold that thought, we're gonna go away. We're gonna pay some bills and we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk more. But Todd Horowitz, Public Trading, Las Vegas, after this. Welcome back to Market Day Report. Let's uh, waste no time and we'll jump right in and see what's happening with the livestock part of things, right? Because the grains, May affect the prices there. So let's take a look at live cattle. Live cattle in December uh, down 37 cents to 147.40. And that's kind of in the middle of the day's range here. So there's not a ton happening over there. 25 cents lower in Feb to 151 spot 10. So live cattle, we're going to turn the page. Not a lot happening there. Feeders, what's going on down there? Well, they've uh, taken a turn for the worse 
That's going to be because we've got an expensive corn board. I'll, I'll chalk that up to that right now. Uh, but feeders are off. Let's go to uh, November. $2.62 there. It's 175.20 is last. That's 35 cents from the lows. Jan is down $2.12 to 176, a spot 30. And that's really kind of what 47 cents from the lows there, or 43 cents from the lows. So uh, we got a little bit of room left still, but I would say right now it's trading heavy. I think that's the honest thing to say. Finally, let's take a look at uh, the lean hog market. It was up earlier, still is. May is dragging its, you know what, around 17 cents lower out there in that deferred May. But let's talk about the fronts. Let's go to December. That's up 75 cents to 76.45. And we've got Feb up 40 cents to 79.47. Let's bring back in Todd Horowitz with Bubba Trading. Thanks for waiting in the wings there, Todd. Uh, uh, feeders, uh, you can probably guess, be lower because of corn. But uh, anything surprise you there? No, I don't think so, Scott. I, I think we're in a, in a pretty much of a trading range. I, I think they still look good. You know, the, the, the obviously we see these more dramatic moves in quieter markets and off of news, but I think that they look really good. I just don't think there's a dramatic amount of the upside. And of course, these are going to tie directly to the economy. You know, if, if, if we start to see oil start to move a lot of higher, that could put a lot of pressure, you know, on, on the cattle market, which is obviously would be good for hogs. But I think, you know, overall, if you look at them, the feeders have been a little bit heavy lately, and of course, obviously, we've seen higher corn prices lately, so that makes sense. But fats have been pretty much steady, and, and hogs are, you know, hugging, you know, in that 90, 95 buck range. And I, I don't think there's a lot there. I just, I don't think they're going a lot lower. I think they're going to be steady to higher. All right, we'll take that. So I bet your weekend plans just really will revolve around putting it all on red, right? So Put it, put it on, all on red for you, buddy. <laughs> all right, thanks very much. Todd Harwood's Bubba Trading. He's coming to us from Las Vegas. We're going to bring back to Nash Vegas so I can throw this over to Suzanne.